Welcome to the third video of this entire video series where I'm going to be showing you literally how do you take what you know, your knowledge, your life experience and transform that into a successful product that sells like crazy online. And today's video is all about beginning with the end in mind. Regardless of where you're at right now, whether you want to go into whatever market, whether it is teaching people makeup, whether it is computer games, whether it's dog training, whether it's gardening, or whether it's serious markets like Forex or stocks or investing, the first thing to understand is that somebody has already done it. Whatever market that you wanna go into, the first question I want you to ask is, has somebody in that market built a million dollar business from it? And I can guarantee you, in probably nearly all cases, somebody has. The first question to ask is, has somebody else done it? And if the answer is yes, then the second question I want you to ask yourself is, so why can't you be that next person? What did this other person do that you didn't so that you can model and reverse engineer what this person did? Then that is what this video is all about. It is all about beginning with the end in mind. If you're totally new, you're probably thinking, what market should I go into? And I believe that there are always two different factors to look at. The inner factors, as well as the outer factors. Now, what are these two things? This first part here, this is basically you. This is basically what you're good at in life, your strengths, your passion, your hobbies, what you love doing. If friends were to ask you for advice, what type of advice would they ask you? And number two is the outer factors. Is there an economic demand and are people willing to pay good money for that information, for that product, for that offer? And ultimately, you want to be able to find that intersection over here to think about what market, what product to create by beginning with the end in mind. So how do you begin with the end in mind? Because somebody else has done it, the thing that you want to start thinking about, due diligence that you need to start doing, is to think about these products that currently sell like crazy in whatever market that you want to go into which is hopefully in line with the, your inner factors, as well as what the market wants. First, think about where can you reverse engineer and find the people that's doing it successfully. Go to these different platforms, platforms that you've heard of before, like Amazon, and go to that specific category. If you wanna sell supplements, go to Amazon, look at supplements, and drill it down. If it's on like brain food, nootropics, what people are selling in that category that's already selling. You wanna take a look at their best sellers, the ones with a lot of reviews. Why? Because it gives you an indication of what is already selling well. You also wanna be able to do this by looking at magazines. Take a look at your magazine stand and take a look at all of the different magazines in that niche. What do they talk about? This is where you can start getting ideas. The third one is basically a marketplace that's great for digital products called ClickBank. And you wanna to go to the marketplace and again, take a look at what are the different products that's selling very well to start giving you an idea, not to copy, but rather to set that as a benchmark of what's already proven. As you are doing your due diligence, as you are looking at all these different offers on Amazon, on ClickBank, and look at magazines, the question is, what are you looking at? Okay, there are a few different things to look at that I always utilize when it comes to creating and selling a product. If you know my story, I started off in the gaming market where my entire life, I've always been this shy, introverted person and I still am. I never wanted to become a speaker or, or to do videos like this or, or brand myself as Ping Jun. All I wanted to do was remain anonymous online and make money, which is what I did. So for many, many years, I never marketed and branded myself. I just sold stuff online. And I started off in the gaming market. And from the World of Warcraft niche, I started going into all these other gaming products. And then I went into Forex, into real estate, into many other different niche markets. Before going into all these different niches, I'll always begin with the end in mind. And I will always reverse engineer and look at these few things, which is basically the homework that you need to be doing. Hopefully you're gonna do this together with me as I'm doing this. Whatever market you're in, somebody else has done it. The first thing you look at is their sales process. What does that mean? It means that you are literally going to go and take a look at 
that person's website or the sales process and see how do they actually make money. Now, when you map out a person's sales process, here's what you will discover and here's how you actually do it. Go to this person's website and you take a look at the different pages that is involved from the time you don't know who they are and you're reading that ad or that webinar or that free plus shipping or an application funnel, whatever it is, take a look at all of the different pages that is involved and note down all of the different price points and the things that it's offered within the sales process. So for example, maybe this is, I don't know, a webinar funnel. So this webinar funnel, maybe it is a video that says, hey, register for this free webinar. This step is free. And then after that, the second step, maybe it is, hey, thank you for registering. The webinar is happening on this time and date. And then after that, there's this live webinar that happens. And then maybe on the webinar, they sell a $1,000 offer. So this will be an example of a webinar funnel. I want you to take a look and notice what is the sales process involved in selling this thing. Again, because somebody else has done it. Not copy, because copying is unethical, but rather to begin with the end in mind is always to see somebody that's crushing it so that you can use that as the benchmark on how you can do things better. The next thing is to look at what is the hook, is basically the pattern interrupt. What is this thing that makes a person stop and give them that initial 10, 30 seconds of attention because it's interesting. So this is where you could take a look at, say their ads. If your market is selling a dieting program in keto, take a look at all of the best selling keto products and ask yourself, what is the hook? What is the pattern interrupt? So in other words, the thing that you are reverse engineering over here is to start like looking at what are their choice of images that they use? What is the color scheme? What are the claims? What are the headlines? Start compiling five different companies or people, or for lack of a better word, competitors. See what are the different things they have in place in order to hook somebody's attention. What are the thumbnails that they use? I gotta apologize for my handwriting over here. I don't write a whole lot. Basically, what makes a person stop? Sales process is really just made out of these few things. After you start doing your due diligence on a hook, then the next thing you're gonna reverse engineer and start monitoring is what is the story? You've probably heard this a lot of times if you've been in the marketing space. They always say, facts tell but stories sell. What is the story that they use? Why? Because stories amplifies the offer. There are a ton of products out there, dime a dozen. But what makes the offer unique is usually the story that is utilized in order to sell the offer. So I want you to take a look at what are the stories that's being utilized in here. Notice what the marketer talks about when it comes to the problem. What is the story when it comes to creating the solution? What is the story that this marketer used when it comes to their successes? What is the story used when it comes to the struggles? Because facts tell, but stories sell. Try to really now map out, because now you're starting to look at the different elements of what makes a successful business in that market. And finally is the offer. To begin with the end in mind, the last thing you look at is, what is the offer? The offer is just comprised of these few things. The price points of the entire sales process, right? Are they just selling one thing? through a webinar funnel? Are they selling multiple products? Are they selling one product with an order bump and then upsell number one, upsell number two? What are the price points of that model, right? If somebody is generating a million dollar product, guess what? They've figured that thing out. You're gonna look at what makes up that offer. How many items do they have in, in that place? Like, is it a DIY type of product? Is it a done with you? type of offer or is it a done for you type of offer? We'll be talking more about these type of offers in future videos, but take a look at an offer, their price point together, what makes out of that price point? Why do people pay money? People pay money because they believe that the value that they're gonna get is much more than the money that they're giving to the other person. Money is just a result. So to understand the psychology of why it sells so well, we gotta take a look at what is the offer? Now, if you combine these three elements in here, this is how you begin with the end in mind. This is literally what you need to do right now if you're serious about this process. Map out what is the sales process in whatever industry that you wanna go into, whatever market, whatever niche. What is the hook? What are the choice of images, the color schemes, their claims, their headlines, their thumbnails that they use? 
What is the story that they utilize for when it comes to their problem, solution, their successes, and their struggles? And what is the offer that they have? What are their price points? Map it all out for three to five different competitors or people that's crushing it to give you an idea of what is necessary for a successful business and for a successful campaign. Because in the following video, I'm gonna go deeper into this process to show you how do you make this happen. So here's what I'd like you to do right now. Comment below on your biggest takeaway in terms of your findings when it comes to your sales process, the hook story offer. I'd love to hear what it is. And as always, make sure you subscribe to this channel for our next video and future videos just like this one to show you how you can literally take what you know, your knowledge, your life experience, and transform that into a product that sells like crazy online. I will see you on the next video.